Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to P&O's brand new ship, Iona. Here's my tour and review. Let's begin our journey at the Grand Atrium spanning deck 6, 7 and 8. As you can see, the Grand Atrium really is the hub of this ship, surrounded by cafes, bars, restaurants and shops. Just off the atrium, deck 6, starboard side, you have the lovely Emerald Bar. And there are some truly unique cocktails to be tasted here. To the rear of the Emerald Bar, you have the 710 Club, known for its live music and vintage vibe. You may also be aware it's crafted by the one and only Gary Barlow. Yes, I know, you're probably going weak at the knees. And no, there is no cure for that. Well, apart from amputation, maybe. But that's really quite severe. This was a very popular venue, so you're going to want to get here in advance of any show. Deck 6 is also home to the very lovely Vista's Coffee Shop. The pastries on offer here are included in your cruise fare, and I know you like a pastry or two or three. You do, don't you? Some of you may be aware of Anderson's Bar from P&O's Aurora and previously Oriana. This one, beautiful by the way, also has the addition of a library. That's not all. Oh no, this Anderson's has its own gin distillery. I kid you not, look at that. And there's even more to this bar. Okay, so as much as I could probably live, dream, eat, sleep Anderson's Bar, it's time to move on. And look, just opposite, we have the studios. So the studios is a four screen cinema complex. It offers a premium cinema experience with screenings shown throughout the day. I'm saying premium because that's what it says on the website. And you'll be pleased to know there's no extra cost to watch a film here. Although, let's be honest, you've already spent plenty of money, haven't you? Also on deck six, at the foot of the atrium, or I like saying that, at the foot of the atrium, is the Harbour Bookstore. Now, I know it's not called that, but look, it sells books. It should be called that. Deck 6 continues its onslaught with the gallery and you too can remortgage your house and be the proud owner of one of these pictures. Deck 6 is also home to the one and only Limelight Lounge. For a supplement, and on our cruise it was £25 per person, you'll get a three course meal and a live show. We were super lucky on our cruise because we actually got to see the La Voix show. Now, La Voix is absolutely stunning. Great voice, super funny. In fact, one lady who sat near to us actually wet herself a little bit, so you have been warned. Please do dress appropriately and take some wet wipes. And before we get to the Headliners Theatre, here's the Oasis Spa. Heading down the stairs to the thermal suite where you can enjoy heated lounges, a therapeutic sauna, sensory steam rooms, experiential showers, hydrotherapy pool with massage in jets and air recliners. Oh yes, you are going to be in for a stimulating time. 
And if you think you can handle more stimulation, well, why not head on over to the Headliners Theatre? Yes, 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 and before anyone tells me off for filming the end of the show, look, they were just throwing themselves around the stage at this point waiting for us to clap. You know, go and have something else to be worried about in your life. Tucked deep down below on deck five is the... 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 gymnasium? What is it? What is this? What is that? Right, are you still with me? Because it's time to head up and explore Deck 7. Oh, and look, here's the glass house. The glass house has experiential showers, massaging jet... Oh, no, sorry. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. The glass house is a speciality dining experience. Here, you'll pay a small surcharge for the dishes you would like. When it came down to me, I just wanted everything, so it wasn't that cheap in the end. And yes, you can feel smug at this point, looking down at all those people below who don't have food. Moving on, I see dead pe oh no, I see flashing lights. I'm always strangely drawn to a little bit of flashing, actually. Hmm. If, like me, you're very lacking in confidence and feel very sensitive, you can actually have gaming lessons at the casino during the daytime. Great to build your confidence and lose a lot of money. And you would expect a casino to be parked right next to a bar, wouldn't you? Well, yep, here it is, Brodie's. Brodie's is a hive of activity throughout the day and evening with plenty of quizzes on offer. And if you're really unlucky, some sport and activity shown on the television. Now I bought what I thought was some aftershave from this store. Turns out it's actually whiskey, so no wonder I got a lot of strange looks. Now hold on to those credit cards because here comes the Avenue Shopping Arcade where you are going to literally hemorrhage money. I guarantee it. Look, there's even a curtain at the loyalty and cruise sales desk, so you can hide from your partner and book a cruise secretly. And let's now head up to deck eight, promenade deck. Here's a brand new restaurant to p and It's the Kill, I mean, Keel and Cow, Keel and Cow, obviously. Seriously though, this restaurant is absolutely fantastic. And ironically, it serves quite a lot of vegetarian and vegan food as well. And not to mention, more great views of the Grand Atrium. I just love it, I do. This is Ripple's Gelateria, meaning it sells ice cream. You know, gelato, obviously. Ripple sells one of the only ice cream afternoon teas I've ever seen. It's $11.95 per person, including a hot drink. Although, honestly, I think you'd actually feed a family of four with this amount. Also located on Deck 8 Promenade Deck is the fantastic Asian fusion restaurant, Sindhu. Now on Iona, Items on the menu in Sindhu are priced individually. Incidentally, coming soon, I have a vlog about every single restaurant and all the dining experiences on board Iona, so please do look out for that. As you leave Sindhu, you'll notice directly in front and to the right, we have a new addition to Pino called the Keys. 
This is a casual dining affair where you can enjoy specialities such as fish and chips, some delicious Asian dishes, and some American fare. There's even a small buffet section at the end. The quays are open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Beyond the quays at the very aft of Deck 8, you have the Clubhouse. You can exit the clubhouse at the very back, which would take you to the Sunset Bar, which has sunsets and a bar. Not to mention two humongous Whirlpool spas. Still on Deck 8, we have a brand new addition to the P&O family. This is the new restaurant, The Olive Grove, which is, by the way, fantastic. Most items in this restaurant are included in your cruise fare. Right, I know you've been looking forward to this part. It's time to explore the open decks and... Be aware, there's some partial nudity later. In addition to its large pool, whirlpool spas, eateries and bars, the Sky Dome is in fact an entertainment zone in its own right. The banquette circling the whole Sky Dome is perfect for watching an evening show, one of the aerial spectacles or the laser and light show. And welcome to the beach coma pool and bar area towards the front of the ship. At the aft of the ship, we have two spectacular infinity pools. The first called Panorama, the second called, imaginatively, the Infinity Pool. And here, a view looking back down to Promenade Deck. Up on deck 19, you can go to the sports arena and stop shouting at the television screen, pretending you're an expert in any sort of sporting field and try it out for yourself. I guarantee you won't be nearly as good as you think you are. Deep in the undergrowth, Iona has some beautiful spots to kick back and relax. Now then, high up and en route to the crow's nest is the fine dining experience. That is the Epicurean. Currently on Iona, this experience will cost £25 per person and you'll have essentially a zillion courses to try and get through in about four hours. No, it's actually really, really good. Recommend it. It still surprises me that so many cruise lines don't have a crow's nest on board. Now, there's nothing quite like this vantage point. A beautiful bar with panoramic views of the ocean. Highly recommend this venue. But Jamie, I hear you cry. You haven't shown us the buffet. Don't you worry, folks. I have not forgotten about that. Mm -hmm. 
The buffet on Iona is indeed so vast that I actually got lost in there and I ended up in some kind of eating frenzy loop and didn't come out for about a whole day. Um, anyway, here are the highlights. When I did find my way out, some greedy storage store had eaten the entire way through the whole grab and go selection. So instead I went to the beach house, which now serves Latino Caribbean flavors and is included in your cruise fare. Bargain. There are four beautiful and well-appointed main dining rooms on Iona. The Pearl, Opal, Coral and Aqua. If you want to palm off your children onto somebody you've never met before, the Reef Club is perfect for you. And finally, let's head on down to Promenade Deck to have a look at the six, yes, that's six, Infinity Whirlpool Spas. And look how beautiful I am. I mean, look how beautiful they are. They, look how beautiful they are. So as we take a circuit around Promenade Deck, and I've sped this up, uh, it normally takes about nine and a half minutes to walk. I'd like to leave you with some facts and figures about the beautiful Iona. If you hadn't noticed, Iona is a mega ship. She has a normal operating capacity of 5,200 guests and 1,800 crew. Iona measures at 344 meters, 184,700 tons, and has 19 decks in total, 15 of which are guest decks. Iona has accommodation to suit everyone. She's home to 2,614 cabins, including 811 inside, 174 sea view, 1,366 balcony, 120 deluxe balcony, 95 conservatory mini suites, 24 suites, 22 single cabins, and two family cabins. Iona offers 14 restaurants on board and she's also home to 19 bars and cafes. And as I leave you with the remainder of this circuit around Promenade Deck, thank you so much for watching. I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.
Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.